of farming enthusiasts. It is a beautiful February morning here at the Bar 3E Ranch, and we're getting ready to load some hay. So, stay tuned. I just wanted to take a minute to introduce myself. I'm Erin Schuster and um, I manage the Bar 3E Ranch Westfield properties with my dad Doug. Um, we run cattle, we grow barley, wheat, winter wheat, um, and canola and occasionally peas. We also um, grow and uh, harvest all of our own hay, which is what you just saw me loading onto the flaker feeder, which we're going to be feeding cows here with shortly. Um, the flaker is pulled by a blue Ford 7840 tractor, I believe. Um, we use those, we have several of those tractors, we use them to do all of our hay and cattle operations, especially in the winter time. Um, and yeah, we just wanted to um, start a channel to share a little bit about our farming adventures in the rolling hills of the Palouse with you all. Um, so this is it. This is a, a day in the life of a couple of farmers. So hope you enjoy it. Here we are, a bunch of cows out waiting for some hay. Excuse me, ladies. Got the flaker all ready to go. Oh, there's some little calves. Hey, baby. Hey. As embarrassing as it is for my first video, I managed to throw off a bale somewhere without realizing it. I've pushed this one to the back so it's ready to go, but we'll have to find that missing grass bale on our way out. So here goes, let's feed them. Didn't see any new babies. Everybody looks pretty content and happy. So now we're gonna go see where I dumped off that bale. Yeehaw. Well, there she is. Not exactly sure why it fell off in that spot. Cause there's not even really a hill there. So 
probably a subpar stacking job by myself, but we don't have to get into that. So this is why we have the forks on the tractor. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of quick unhitching from the flaker feeder and uh, get that bale loaded up and then probably just flake it out right here because I am that lazy, but it will at least be flaked out instead of sitting in a huge pile on the ground. So here goes. some visitors um, my grandfather my dad's dad and his brother came by to see us um, they actually grew up in the house that my parents now live in on this farm so it's always fun when they come out um, we do a lot of reminiscing telling a lot of old stories and it's just very um, fun to hear about um, their perspective of growing up here versus my perspective of growing up here so um, a few quick facts that I just want to share with you guys. Um, this farm has actually been in our family for almost 100 years. And our family has lived in this area for over 100, almost 120 years. Um, my great, great, great grandfather immigrated here from Germany. And uh, he actually immigrated to the United States in the mid 1800s, but our family didn't end up here in Washington until the early 1900s. So um, this farm and this place just means a lot to me, um, especially because of that, because I'm a big history buff and uh, I love that it's been continuously farmed by our family for all of those years. And um, my hope is to keep it going um, for the next generation.